don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, ha ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. You heard that. You need to stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? It's you, Lewis. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Fire at will! Spread out, goddammit! Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded rear. the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery, so I decided to get sneaky. Watch out! He's one of them! God damn it, he's right behind us! men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Listen, 
Let's do this! <laughs> Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll you. cover you! Stop aiming you! Watch your play! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. God damn you! They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baudry. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! <laughs> Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Telling you Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? 
It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gatlin, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? Many would have fled in my fight. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, hold me silence, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Gotta cut you a new one! Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. Challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. And stepped inside, and... <gasps> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. My throat's a mite dry, however, and I'm in need of some lubrication. <laughs> 